Ever since the release of Halo Infinite, people have been asking for their game mode to come back into Halo Infinite. Well, one just came back, and it's something that people have been asking the entirety of Halo Infinite's existence right now, but it only just happened now. And that's a ranked Team Snipers playlist. But hold up, last time 343 introduced a sniping playlist, well, it wasn't exactly a sniping playlist. Though it looks like it is just the S7 sniper rifle going to be used with this one as well on ranked settings with an S7 sniper rifle, like you would expect team snipers to play out like. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out this video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, which I think 78% of you guys have now subscribed to this channel, you know what to do then. Since we're getting sweaty, I figure I'd put on my SSG codeine. Cause you know, we need the match, man. We gotta be looking good while slaying good. Let's see how sweaty my lobbies are. I mean, I am a diamond two in regular rank, so it might get a little difficult. Also, thank God they only need five matches. So I think we'll actually get our rank at the end of this video. Oh my God, some of these animations are so cursed because they're holding onto a sniper rifle. And I think it adds to the fun almost in a way, really, right? Oh, there we go. And the first shot's a no scope, dude. Yeah. Oh no, no, you started me. There we go. Yeah, baby. I do feel like when it comes to playing team snipers, especially a ranked team snipers, a really important question is asking: Can Halo's population support multiple ranked playlists? Even though last time we checked back in September, that oh my god, I hate the zoom in this game. We'll get on that a little bit later, though. Uh, but we all know that Halo Infinite's population is not exactly thriving right now at the moment. I mean, it's like doing okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude, we're tapping everyone. We're getting the kills. I'm just kind of curious if Halo Infinite's population can support multiple ranked playlists. I mean, I'm assuming that's kind of the reason why this is rotational. It's kind of supposed to try and get like, oh, it's in this week. We can play right now kind of thing. My teammates are cleaning up. I'm really liking that. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> I heard the shot right behind my head. I'm like, something's funky going on right behind me in here, and I don't like it. Uh, yeah, you do. You gotta get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, am I cracked out right now in this game? Is something going on? I ate my Wheaties this morning or something. How do you feel about rotational rank playlists in Halo Infinite? Because my opinion of it, it's kind of like, you know. It would be cool if they kind of stayed within the game, but I'm just not really interested in grinding out a playlist that I know is going to be gone within a couple of weeks, you know what I mean? But I know some people really want their team snipers or really want the ranked team slayer, yada yeah, and their own ranked team snot and stuff like that as well. Understandable, you know? A lot, I mean, we've, we've kind of cut, loved that experience within Halo that like will be a social version and a ranked version of each playlist. You also have to think about it back then though, Halo was a much more popular game as it is than it is right now. I and mean, we're thinking, we're comparing it to like Halo 2, Halo 3 days, right? Those were the glory days of Halo. Halo was king on the console and stuff like that. Times have changed a little bit. Some other games have become a little more popular since, if you've noticed. And we have seen 343 employees talk about how additional ranked playlists actually kind of cannibalize players from other ranked modes and stuff like that that's probably why we don't have you know all these at once you only ever have two at the same time dude i'm sorry i'm just no scoping way better than <laughs> actually aiming down sides i am playing on mouse and keyboard which actually does make no scoping at least bodying people with no scopes a bit easier than on a controller but it's kind of one of those things like if we did have permanent rank playlists that just kind of hung out in halo if it like a rank team snipers rank swat Rank snipers playlist and maybe even rank BTB if those were in the game. Would that actually make people want to jump in and keep playing? I know when I'm playing Halo, I usually just like to play rank mainly due to the fact that skill based matchmaking makes things so uh, competitive that it feels like no matter what I'm playing, I'm playing rank. So might as well actually play for some ranks while we're kind of, you know, dripping in these lobbies. But maybe a long term progression system would alleviate a lot of those pains that we've been feeling as Halo players, which I've been leaking rumors that it's coming around actually rather soon. Oh, that no scopes are on point, buddies. I'm telling you. Oh, get him out of here! Guys, we're kind of popping off this game, not gonna lie. It feels kind of weird, especially in a ranked lobby. Oh my gosh. Though, honestly, I kind of feel like if you had multiple ranked playlists in Halo Infinite, I don't know if that would really alleviate a lot of pains people have been feeling about the multi multiplayer experience of Halo Infinite. The tough thing about Halo is that there's so many just little niche communities that people loved about playing Halo back then. It's kind of maybe like a little bit of a Death of a Thousand Cuts kind of thing, where 
not one singular thing like ranked snipers will bring people back into playing Halo Infinite or something like that, but more just like there's a culmination of all these little things that makes Halo so great and it has made Halo so great. Actually added up together to something really awesome. Hey, we won our first game though. That's great. But yeah, new game, new me. Here we go. All right, so then this time around, I want to talk a lot about the sniping mechanics in Halo Infinite and how, well, they can be quite frustrating because they're not quite to the traditional experience we've had previously within Halo. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I zoom into times 10 zoom, right? Watch, I'll try to get de-scoped right here or he'll just run away. <laughs> I'm trying to show examples here, dude. Come on, this is for science. Well, basically what I was trying to showcase is that whatever your last state of zoom was, that's the zoom that you'll have when you zoom back in, which kind of makes sense, right? You were just there, so you want to go back to where you were. But the thing is that a lot of times, especially in arena, when it comes to, oh my gosh, when it comes to arena maps, like we're playing on right here, and most of the time you just want to use this zoom. The five times zoom, it'll scope you in the 10, but like oftentimes like you rarely ever want to use the 10 times zoom. Maybe on the really long distance sniping when it comes to say like big King battle or something. But most of the time you want to use the first zoom, the five times zoom. So obviously there's D scope in Halo Infinite. So if I'm in 10 times zoom, right? And I get shot out of it and I try to zoom back in, it will put me right back into 10 times zoom. So it really throws off my visual frame of reference when I'm sniping in Halo Infinite. And say I'm trying to like click through like I did right there. Like a lot of times I'll just kind of click and then click through again to kind of zoom back out. But if I'm kind of zoomed back in and I get de-scoped and I try to zoom back in, it'll put me back into 10 times, even though in my mind I was clicking enough to put myself in five times zoom. This is a really annoying tactical little thing about Halo, but in gameplay wise, it's super important to have a coherent gameplay loop really, if that's the way they really put it, I'm not quite sure. And the reason why I don't like this current mechanic is because traditionally within Halo, the way they had it was that if you get de-scoped, then you're just gonna be put right back at the five times zoom, which is what I'm used to. And honestly, what I would prefer to have happen when it comes to sniping within Halo. Oh my gosh, just need one more tap. I just couldn't get it. No! I feel like this doesn't really get brought up enough within Halo's gameplay. I think right now that like, it's just kind of like a more of a niche problem. Oh, that one felt good. That I don't know if a lot of people are going to be really bothered to bring up much at all. And I know some people will probably would just be like, well, just adapt and change with the times, Kevin. That's all you gotta do. Don't be such a boomer. And like, yeah, I understand there's some aspects of gaming where sometimes you just need to adapt. But functionally, it's better in Halo to just be able to be de-scoped whenever you are to just be put back into your regular zoom zoom state because like i mentioned earlier most of the time when you're trying to snipe in halo you generally just want to use the five times zoom you don't really care much for using like the 10 times zoom unless you're super far out in like a big team battle situation but let me know in the comments down below also on that topic of what you guys feel about that one do you feel that the traditional zoom mechanics that we had in halo are better than what the Halo Infinite Zoom mechanics are. Personally, I would say, yes, traditional is better than what we currently have. I mean, it's not like the biggest of deals, but it definitely is a mechanic where I really just don't like doing it. And oftentimes I've tried to really relearn my muscle memory in Halo to make sure I YY out of <laughs> scope rather than actually just change out of scope. Cause like right there, put me in 10 times zoom and I didn't want that at all. Oh no, we got our asses handed to us this one. Also judging by this, I feel like we have a bit of a challenge issue once again within Halo Infinite. Looking at the other challenges of get cinder shot kills, kill enemy Spartans with a spit with a pistol, uh, kill enemy Spartans with assault rifle, battle rifle, sidekick, or frag grenade. Literally, I can't complete any of these challenges while playing ranked snipers. Again, another reason why the challenge system still needs some tweaks and upgrades within the game. Now uh, we got Empyrean, AKA the pit. Uh, I've been seeing some people talk about that been having some like tactical issues with the pit. It seems like every time there's some form of any kind of update within Halo, the pit gets broken. <laughs> and that, that might be some kind of issue with four traps technically still being like in beta and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't really forge a whole lot. It could be that, could be multiple of other things. I'm just leaving it up to the experts to kind of decide what the heck's up with that whole situation. There we go. And another one. So some things I really do like about this playlist that it's just your sniper rifle. There are no shotguns, there are no sidekicks, no grenades. Just you and your sniping ability, which I really like that when it comes to this. And there are equipment thrown into the mix as well, but I don't really find it to be too intrusive or really that useful, honestly, when it comes to team snipers. 
Boom, baby. Oh, like you went to that lift, dude. That's just not going to work out well. That's one thing I've been trying to get better at when it comes to Halo Infinite. It's jumping. Because jumping makes your movement super predictable, very easy to shoot. And something I've been trying to reduce a bit more within my gameplay. And even though I just jumped right there. If you're playing ranked and like you put like two shots in a guy and you just jump in the middle of a gunfight. You're like, please, I would like to lose this gunfight. It's basically what you're saying. Ah, get him out of here. I love this little ledge that they added in here in Empyrean as well. It adds a whole new angle to kind of just get a little sneaky with and stuff like that. A new part of elevation, especially for those people who spawn at the bottom of the uh, tower area. Oh, I might use a curb slide right, man. I mean, I curb slide. I would have loved to just be able to curb slide and get like a 180 no scope kind of thing. He's just standing there, dude. Like, you're just gonna make it easier for me. Did someone just shoot over my head? What the heck? And I'm out of here. I saw a comment saying that, like, finally there's a mouse and keyboard playlist. And I'm like, I don't really think people understand the, how mouse and keyboard really plays out within Halo Infinite. Like, I, like it's definitely easier to no-scope with mouse and keyboard. I will straight up admit that right now. As a mouse and keyboard player, when it comes to scoped in shots, there's a certain distance that, like, it's really only going to be useful. And honestly, it's at that point, especially in arena maps, that you're not really going to be experiencing much of a benefit playing on mouse keyboard compared to controller when it comes to sniping. Just sniping is just hard in Halo Infinite, man. It's projectile snipes. The reticle on here is super tiny, right? So you need to land that shot just right. If anything, it's more difficult than even Halo 3. Not that Halo 3 sniping was a little bit more on the difficult side of things, but I would say just kind of overall inherently that sniping in Halo Infinite is just a little too difficult. Especially for the casual audience. Like, I'm a pretty casual player and if i'm having problems sniping i figured that i'm not the only person out there look at that jumping in the middle of the gunfight yeah that's an easy kill oh another one honestly i feel like camo would work a lot better within team snipers compared to overshield that's always like that bit that like covert aspect of of sniping. It always feels like you kind of want to be like a sneaky sniper. You know, there's never really like a situation in any other kind of shooter where like you want to be like an overly aggressive like aggro demon sniper like I've been doing right now. But hey, that's what I decided to do because I picked up the OS. I had to, you know, push it and I got their flank. And we got the game winner. Yeah, baby. 18 and four, baby. You'll love to see it. All right, cliffhanger. We got some new map kind of experience stuff going on right here. I like that. This actually might be a map where 10 times zoom, like I'm using right now, it's actually gonna be useful. Instead, I just die. This map actually might be very good for team snipers. I don't really delve too much into team snipers, honestly. I just kind of, if I'm playing Halo, I'm either jumping into rank or I'm jumping into big team battles. They're kind of the main two. Like, and, and maybe if I just wanna just like not have to sweat so much or worry about rank, then I'll jump into team slayer. Oh, you thought you could step up to me? Oh my God, there's a fusion coil on here. Can I pick it up? No, you can't pick up the fusion coils in this one. Oh man, come on. It's probably for the best, but I mean, how awesome would it be just to jump into team snipers and then just noob cube people? Oh wait, can we go up the left and hit this guy that just went up? Never mind. We try to do something cool, but then the players just hate you for doing that. The sniper's going to take us all out. Heck of a call out there, teammate. The sniper's gonna take us all out. I wonder which one. I didn't even know you can get up there. How do you do that? There's camo on this map? Okay. There we go. Get him out of here. Jesus. As soon as I had a moment of glory, the enemy team's like, no, dog. Let's go up to his left this time around. Can I get something cool? Get something cool. No, I'm not. I want to see if I can do that too. Like, I want to get up there. Like, and do like this. How, how did he even get up there? So like a... Get him out of here. I'm, I'm doing science. Let me do my thing. Like, if you jump up here like this? No. It must have been like, is there a grapple shot on this map or something? Because how'd you get up there? Oh, you thought you could snipe me and get him out. There's one thing I really like about the AI scans. If you're new to a map, you don't really know what's on it or where things are. Just do a little bit of an AI scan and it might be able to help you out. Try to find the right thing. I mean, there's a thrust right here, but I doubt the thrust is how that guy got on top of that ridge. I'm just, I am so genuinely curious on how that guy got up there. I would have assumed that if it was equipment, it would have been on this side of the map. Did you just like 
thrust and then something cool happened? Because obviously you can jump up here. I know that. Or can you just, oh, that's how you do it. Sometimes the e simplest answer is the obvious one. Oh, I get it. Oh, oh, sometimes we can hit shots and I love it. Since I've never seen players jump up there, I thought it was gonna be way more of a tricky jump than just simply jumping and clambering on again. Double kill, triple, no. Hey, teammate with the assist though, you love to see it. I didn't try soon enough. All right, back where it all started, guys, for game five, this is gonna be our match that gets us our rank within ranked team snipers. So you know we absolutely need to pop off. Biggest question is, are there a squad of enemy players? Uh, yes, we match against a team of four with my team of randoms. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a game. Uh, I can tell you that much. It's going to be that. The biggest thing when you're playing as a team of four is to make sure you don't overstay your welcome when it comes to location on the map, right? Don't over peak, don't overextend. You have to assume that they're going to be in communications with each other. Oh my God, this guy's a Twitch streamer. Oh, we're screwed, guys. We're big screwed. I mean, I can still hit snipes though on you, Thomas. I don't care how many streams you do. And also keep in mind that whenever you are playing ranked right and your match against a team of four especially when your teammate literally just left the game in that situation okay well that's cool you gotta play a little bit more on the defensive side of things don't overextend like i said earlier but like just kind of know that your teammates are gonna kind of play it like it's a social match when you know it's ranked they queue in the ranked but they're definitely not playing like it's ranked then that's i'm not saying necessarily camp but also just kind of keep in mind that since they are in a team of four that they're gonna get really aggro on you and well both of my teammates just left because well we're playing as a team of four so that's kind of what happens when uh the matchmaking gives you this kind of situation i saw mimplitz recently tweet about this actually about having to play against teams of four a lot when it comes to ranked effectively saying like is just the ranked experience is just playing against stacks of four the entire time i mean uh it do be like that it do be like that I'm not gonna lie as someone who's a sweaty ranked boy myself it do be like that though so, oddly enough i found that like whenever i'm in a party of like two or three that i actually come across less teams of four and more randoms in my lobbies which is really freaking weird i do know in halo 5 what they did jesus christ but i know what they did in halo 5 was that if you are searching as a team of four you'll only against match against teams of four which i think it's a little too strict honestly like i think if you match against like teams of three and four then you should be fine i guess this is kind of why they had like that solo duo playlist originally within halo Infinite, but i never really delved into it a whole lot because i felt like that playlist was even more sweaty than how it should have been just because most of the people who are jumping into that playlist are like yeah i don't want to match against squads of four and i feel like the people who care that much about matching against squads of four are generally the extra sweaty boys you know beat it thomas i don't care how many subscribers you have on twitch Oh my god! Okay, I deserve that one. I deserve that one. <laughs> oh, I'm right back at you, buddy! <laughs> oh, look at Thomas doing that. That is the egoist of ego challenges. I mean, when you're at 47 and 28, you can afford to do a little bit of a ego nonsense like that. Still feels good to get the shots. Got the no scope on him right there. Back with the body disrespect, my dudes. I mean, did I do something earlier that was toxic? I don't think so. Right back at you, Thomas. Hey, Tommy. Ah, big surprise, we lost. Well, we were down two players. There we go, what we get? Oh, platinum one. But placing as a platinum one when normally I'm a diamond tier player in regular rank, just kinda hits the ego a bit. Well, let me know what you think about ranked team snipers in Halo Infinite.